I have a bad feeling about this. Mace Windu when the separatists invaded the planet Malastare, homeworld of the Doug species, Windu again took to the field commanding Republic forces with the assistance of Commander Pons and General Skywalker. Preventing the separatist conquest of Malastare was not their only objective. The Republic sought to gain access to Malastarian fuel. Doge Naka Uruz, leader of Malastare, agreed to sign a treaty of trade between the Republic and Malastare, provided that the separatists were first driven off of Malastarian soil by Windu's forces. However, the Republic soon found itself heavily outnumbered upon confronting the separatist invasion force on the open field of battle. Despite this, the Republic had a backup plan. The electro-proton bomb, developed by the Republic scientist Dr. Sean Verbol, was designed to neutralize a specific target, the separatist battle droids. The doctor assured Windu and Chancellor Palpatine, who communicated with Republic forces via hologram, that the bomb posed no threat to organic-based units, such as clone troopers and the Malastarian Dugs. The plan met with the Chancellor's approval, but did little to assuage Windu's concerns. Although the Jedi Master proposed to seek an alternative solution, the bomb's use was authorized by Palpatine and Uruz. Upon detonation, the immediate blast incinerated the droids that were closest to the explosion. The subsequent discharge of EMP radiation caused the remaining the droids to shut down, along with every form of machinery within proximity of the overall blast. Though the experimental bomb succeeded in neutralizing the entire separatist invasion force in one fell swoop, the surface began to collapse as a result of the explosion, creating a massive sinkhole that began at ground zero and expanded in every direction. A rescue operation soon commenced in order to search for the Republic troops who fell into the sinkhole. After losing communication with the rescue party, Windu and Pons led a team to ascertain the fate of the survivors. Their investigation ultimately led them to discovering the Zillow Beast, an ancient creature native to Malastare, its species was long believed to be extinct by the Dug population. The Beast, awoken by the bomb, chased after Windu and his troops until Skywalker created a distraction by flying maneuvers around it in his Jedi Starfighter. After escaping from the sinkhole, Windu regrouped with Skywalker and Uruz in order to develop a strategy to neutralize the Zillow Beast. The Malastarian Doge was adamant that the creature, which he regarded as a dangerous bloodthirsty monster, should be destroyed, a plan which Palpatine supported in order to ensure the Dug's cooperation with the Republic's needs for Malastare's fuel. Windu strongly objected on the ground of Jedi morality, however, due to the possibility that the beast could be the last of its species, the Jedi Master was determined to preserve its life. His value for life ultimately conflicted with Urus's insistence on the creature's extermination. Uruz went ahead with his plan upon discovering the harmful effects that Malastarian gas had on the Zillow beast, prompting Windu to intercede in defense of the creature's life by threatening the Doge with his lightsaber. The situation was ultimately resolved when a group of Republic RX-200 Falcon-class assault tanks concentrated their fire on the Zillow Beast and, as a result, incapacitated the creature. The Dugs believed that the Beast was finally dead when in fact the stun cannons merely rendered it unconscious, long enough for Republic forces to transport the Zillow Beast to Coruscant for scientific research. Though the Dug Council formally ratified Malastare's treaty with the Republic, Windu made no effort to conceal his disapproval of Palpatine's decision to bring the dangerous beast to the galactic capital, a move that the Jedi Master regarded as folly on the Chancellor's part.